Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris and the Empire of Dragonia. All right, I went through all of our planets and uh, just uh, started building some stuff. Um, I also, let's see, uh, I think it was Wakor. Yeah, I, uh, I'm replacing the Satramine Atmospheric Dispenser because we don't need it there anymore, and I'm going to build it here uh, on Fimbulvetter so that uh, we get growth time uh, improvements. All right, let's uh, get back to our war up here. Oh, it looks like I should probably, uh, not you. Um, where exactly are you going now? You are going after that fleet there, yeah. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Good. Situation log Blow up updated. all that stuff? Hostile fleet engaged. Uh-oh, where are you going? You are going over there. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. That's fine. That's fine. Yep, you're heading back. Uh, I'll head over there once I've taken care of this uh, fleet. Okay, let's see Situation where they're going. Log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, there we go. Hostile fleet engaged. Mm, nom 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 nom. Research complete. So tasty. Right, let's go blow them up. Xeon fleet, you can. I guess. Let's see. That's not a problem. I guess we'll come over here. Mm, so good. All right, we've got X-ray lasers. These lasers have a shorter wavelength than UV-based laser weaponry, but are even more destructive. Uh, particle lance. Let's get particle lance. And colony drop. Let's watch you move. We're at ninety-four percent. Hostile fleet engaged. Seriously? A corvette is attacking us. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Whee! Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Ah, oh, feels good. Updated. All right, let's uh, split off a ship. Might grab a... Yeah, let's grab Gilgamesh there. You can go uh, take that. Let's see, what are you doing? Uh, you don't really need to blockade anything there. You're doing some stuff. Let's go blockade that. Xeon fleet. I guess for good measure, you can just go blockade that. And it doesn't look like we've done anything there. So I think we'll go do that. Incoming transmission. Okay, so it was a peace offer. Did I not get any influence out of that? Yeah, I'm I'm not in that war anymore, and I did not appear to get anything out of that. Seriously, that's why I joined you, you dinks. Uh, is uh, Camelot the one where I had... Yeah, the crew quarters. Alright, well, get everyone there. Hmm. I got a defensive pact. I don't really want to... 
do a defensive pact with you guys. Demand vassalization. Why? Distance. Well... I could guarantee their independence. Uh, let's see. Empire population, relative power of empires. I'm guessing that that doesn't go above 100. Cordial attitude, threatened. Um, will cost us one influence each month. Well, I can't do that. Um, nope. Not doing that, then. Friendly attitude. Threatened plus one. Relative power of the Empire. Hmm. I don't know if Migration Treaty will uh, do anything in that regard. Well, I may just let them ask me for it. And if they don't, I can always go to war. Like when their in independence is no longer guaranteed. Uh, Kelnudar Sovereignty joined the Righteous Pact. It's fine by me. Special project complete. A tar black secured. After an extensive search of the seabed on Fishak using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the Cave Carrot finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search, a live Tarblack. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members on the Cave Carrot that came into direct contact with the Tarblack will require extensive therapy, but their mission has been a success. Excellent. Incoming transmission. Uh, let's see. Guarantee was revoked. Don't care. Non-aggression pact. Nope. And Governor Super Lou has leveled up. Fantastic. To get all of our ships home. Uh, Confederacy of Siet has uh, entered a non-aggression pact with the Sovereign Havol Theocracy. Which ones are you guys again? Look at this patchwork here! <laughs> Good lord! Uh, this is crazy. Ah, these guys up there. All right, well, let's get our ships home. Maybe see if we get some new uh, techs. Yeah, I don't need to do anything more with there with them. Special project complete. Science officer Gilgame has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on. Brilsir 7A. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural has been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps most interesting of all, is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkably good condition. Amazing! Gilgame gains 200 experience, not that I think he needs it. I suppose I could have sent someone else if I had anyone else who was lower level, but... 
That's a little bit more micro than I desire. Alright, so who will we be going after next? That is the question. I have so little influence right now. It is it is not even funny. I suppose I could always come over here. I mean, these guys are my vassals. And these guys are protectorates, unfortunately. What exactly are you again? You are enigmatic observers, okay. And you are militant isolationists. I love all the stuff going through their their uh, um, space, and they're just like, eh, whatever. Construction complete. Smog has finished surface construction. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and improve that. And that. I think we had someone migrate away, so I am building droid there, and I moved the other droid to the food tile. Okay. Uh, you guys in Bahamut? Just... Return. That should take you, put you all into orbit. And I'll probably uh, merge them up. What do you have again? You've got uh, Hyperwave. Have I upgraded you? I have. Okay. So we'll put you into the Colony Drop Strike Force. Uh, research agreement with the League of Banthurian Domains is timed out, and Cartel of Polygar is timed out. League of Banthurian Domains. Who is that again? That was you guys. Alright. Uh, you do still like me. Offer trade deal, research agreement. You've got a few. Not sure if I'll ever get them. Go ahead and do that. And you guys... You are horrible, horrible people. But... I need you to get up there faster. I don't actually know if the trade if the research agreement stacks with the uh, protectorate status, but I hope it does. I guess we'll just go with it. Are you not actually getting into orbit? Enter orbit. Fully repaired. You accept that? Excellent. System survey complete. And you accept that. Elderac system has been surveyed. Ooh, we've got some. Uh... Oh. Huh. Who's that is? I mean, it says Yanari, but or Rassian Mandate. I don't know that that's the case. They're mammalian. These are not mammalian ships. Um, and I've noticed that when it's an unknown, you know, a, a non-aligned anymore force, it tends to jump between uh, uh, groups. But I wonder if someone. Uh, well, it could have been an anomaly, actually. I think anomalies can do that. Still, that is three, uh... Three minerals right there. Alright, colony drop. Uh, let's go ahead and actually merge all the rest of you in. Actually, not you. There we go. Incoming transmission. Uh, click stack state wants star charts. Nope. Uh, cave carrot is done. What were you working on? 
Ah, you're just doing uh, that. Uh, actually, that's a good question. Uh, okay, we're never going to complete that. Alien Specimen Procurement. Why do we not have access to this? Because it's up there, alright. Okay. Well, these are much more spread out than I'm used to. I wonder if it's because I got it late. Uh, it looks like we have access to that one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then, I guess we'll just uh, head over here. I guess we'll go up this way. Actually... Eh, whatever. So it's an extra jump. Let's see how many we can queue up here. Alright, that's about it. And I think for you, we will queue up over here. Alright, that's about it. Um, this might actually be a good place to try and get... Uh, some colonization going um, because we'll quickly get control of all five of those stars. Um, so that might be a thing. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. At this late date, I'm not so sure that it's worth uh, researching all the techs. Uh, maxed out on minerals again. I mean, uh, not researching all the text, uh, researching all the debris that was up here. Ooh, surviving infrastructure. Infrastructure that survived the Great Nuclear War, which ruined Glorong, have proved a great boon to our colonists. The alien civilization that once lived here built highways connecting their major population centers, and some of them are still in good enough condition to be used today. We have also been able to recycle a large amount of building material from the many ruins that dot the landscape, further improving our colonists' our colony's infrastructure. Excellent! Surviving infrastructure modifier added, giving the following effects. Building cost minus 15%. That's pretty nice. Uh, speaking of... Yeah, you're not actually... Uh, all that close to finishing. Unfortunately, there's a limit to how much you can actually, um, how quickly you can actually build. Well, let's go ahead and build all of these guys. Um, I mean, they, they, there's no speeding up the uh, uh, growth of droids, as far as I know. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. I probably will have them get this uh, uh, research, just because. I mean, they won't get as much, but you know, hey, it's some. And if I do go the route of synthetics, then uh, they actually get a boost to that. Uh, Xeon Fleet. You go ahead and repair. You're already repairing. Actually, I suppose you're not really. Oh boy! Ten and... Oh, uh, maxed out on energy. Alright. Maxed out on minerals as well. That doesn't matter. Alright, where do we want to... Okay, have we... We have not. This is a place that needs to be... terraformed. That's Arctic. I need to replace you. That's Arctic. 
terraform you to an ocean world. Terraform you to a continental world, and see if I can take control of you. Should be able to. Build terraforming station. Excellent. So this would actually be probably be a good system to uh, take myself. Uh, we got a 1911-16, and I don't remember what uh, mist itself is. It is a nine. Uh, so it's not great, but it's four planets in one. I'd be getting everything from all of these. So I may want to pop this out of a, uh, a sector and take it myself. Luckily, we're now gaining lots of energy. Smog has finished surface construction queue. All right, is there anything else for you to build right now? Yes, actually, there is. Not much, just these two, though. Okay, more power. Capped out of minerals again. Of course! I'm just gonna stay capped out at minerals, really. Construction complete. That's fine. Uh, Menjeti civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on. Where is it? Eldetha, I think. They are presently in what could be considered a late medieval age, with a firm grasp of metallurgy and a feudal society. The printing press is accelerating the spread of knowledge. We should consider building an observatory post above their world to study them more closely. Interesting. All right, they are a continental species. Um, they are fungoid, xenophobes, and fanatic militarists. Damn it! Uh, thrifty, nomadic, continental preference. Well. Um, ooh. Varian stone. Well, that would be a uh, solid place to put a um, frontier outpost at some point. Speaking of, do we really only have the two observation posts? Wow. I've got another game where I've got like Basically, this whole, you know, this is this would be the, the list of observation posts that I have. It's kind of crazy. And then again, we haven't explored any of this, and no one's colonized any of that yet. So. Getting a few factions. It's not really a big deal, though. In fact, I'm going to just shrink most of this stuff down. Yunari United Provinces, 95 months System to go. Complete. Well, it's not a bad system. Alright, who would we actually want to go to war with next? Wait. How are you... you manage to get a uh, frontier outpost there? I'm confused. I don't remember that. I'm definitely going to have to go in and destroy that at some point. Let's see, you're mammalian. Yeah, these were mine! How did you manage to do that? I mean, you shouldn't be able to just go into a... Yeah, so you build Frontier Outpost. 
The star has not been surveyed. Where is there a foreign star that I have surveyed? There's no route there. All right. Someone else's borders. Hmm. Could be a bug. I mean, it's just a frontier outpost, so it's not a huge deal, although they might be trying to get that Arctic world. Uh, what do you actually colonize? You do not colonize Arctic. Your ocean. They're water pigs, apparently. All right. Well, let's see. If we... All right, we do not... We can't declare war on them. But I think I may want to... Uh, vassalize those guys next. That might be the uh, the plan. Uh, let's see. Treaty with the Cerulean Star Empire is timed out. How do you guys feel about me right now? Negative 79. Jeez. I've never actually seen a protector turn into a vassal, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't like that I cannot uh, integrate them. I mean, I suppose I could always uh, release them and then uh, attack them at some point. Oh, I maxed out on uh, energy again. Uh, let's see. You know what? First of all, I should be done here. Yep. Terraform you into an ocean world. And there are two worlds here. Ocean. Um, I think desert world is what we want to go with. Because that should take us to uh, Tropical, and then... Uh... Oh yeah, we lost this stuff. Hmm, I don't actually see the... Uh... Well, I guess I don't have any survey data on that. I mean, I have survey data, but I don't have uh, uh, active sensors on that area. Alright, I got 500 uh, energy again. I'm just going to keep doing this until I've uh, got my energy back up. Um, frontier Outposts. Man, I'd like to get rid of one of these. Or, not one of them. More than just one of these. Special project complete. Udlorans secure. The crew of the Cave Carrot has managed to collect a small group of Udlorans from the icy surface of Eric 3A. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the moon's snowfields aston at astonishing speeds. One animal was clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour. This aided in their detection since the passage of their rolling forms kicks up huge plumes of swirling snow. Excellent. Construction complete. And smog has finished its surface construction again, which might mean that it is completely done with everything that it can build. Looks like it. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the. Wait until these terror bombing modifiers uh, go away. And we've got miniaturized pre igniters. Two. Nice. Advances in miniaturization allow for more rapid loading and discharging of rocket propelled payloads. What do we want now? Uh, military station health plus 10%. Mining network. Uh. That is definitely the cheapest one, and I haven't actually gotten that yet. There's also engineering facility, but I don't need that yet. I do feel like I'm way behind on tech, though. I mean, on, on research points. I need to get that increased. Um, yeah, mineral isolation. Get that uh, research there. System survey complete. And we have surveyed... Huh. I 
Yes, yeah, someone must have colonized up here and gotten kicked out by these guys right here. I guess we'll have to uh, take a look at uh, colonizable worlds. Now, do these guys have... Uh, are, th are they reptiles? No. They're mammals. Um, let's check something out. They're not going to look like mammals. So, someone definitely colonized up here and got kicked out by these guys. I think that's definitely the case. Uh, I might swing by this system and take a look to see... Well, I'd need to survey those worlds. I don't really want to survey them. Ah, nah, I don't need to do that. I don't need to go up there. Just stay in orbit. Uh, I do need to check... Uh, I'm going to check in between episodes about my um, uh, ship designs. Uh, just to see exactly what they are... Um, what they look like to see if uh, uh, I want to upgrade yet or if I want to wait until I get more techs before doing so. Um, so I'll let you know in the next episode. See you then, everyone.